Welcome to Video Quick Tips, the show that brings you tips and techniques to help you produce better video. I'm Bill Mecca. Anyone who has ever worked in video production has gotten this question, which is the best editing software? The short answer I always give is the one that works the way you think. Really, when it comes down to it, they are only tools for getting your vision produced. And the best tools are those that don't get in your way, that are transparent, so to speak. Which software application is that? Which is the most intuitive? That depends. What is intuitive for me with my background and experience may be the furthest thing from intuitive for you and vice versa. When I taught mass communications in college, I asked my students, and this may date me a bit, if 100 people watched ABC's World News Tonight with Peter Jennings, how many Peter Jenningses are there? The correct answer is 100. No two people see the exact same thing the exact same way. Our perception is colored by our own unique experiences and our beliefs. I could get deeper into that, but you want to know which editing software is best. I've used Ulead Media Studio Pro 6.5 to edit my documentary Lost Towns of the Pine Barrens. That one's not around anymore. I use Avid Media Composer every day at work, and I have used Avid since 1995. When we were looking back then, there weren't many available. There was Avid, Media 100, iMix Video Cube, and they were all based on Apple computers. There were a few for PC. Division is one that I remember, but they weren't nearly at the same level. Working in an IBM shop, you can imagine how tough it was getting a Mac through the door. But I got it, and I had settled on Avid because the terminology made sense. I had edited some 16mm film, so clips, bins, and sequences made sense to me. I have edited on Sony Vegas, which many say is intuitive, but we discussed that before. It's very good. Vegas is very good. I have not used Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere, but I have seen them in action, and they're very good as well. What I have settled on for my own projects is Magix Video Pro X. Magix is a German company that makes the audio software Samplitude. I haven't used that, but from the screen layout, it shows its roots. What I like about Video Pro X is that each time I dig into it, I find more and more functionality. It does multi-camera editing. It does screen capture. It has a large number of effects built in. Chroma key, which I'm using here in this show, works like a charm. And I was concerned when I saw how few controls there were for chroma key compared to other editors. But it works great. It has color correction. You can move the windows around to set up the workspace any way you want. Now for me, out of the box, it was laid out a bit backwards. The program window was to the left of the preview, which is opposite of every control room I've ever been in or every, every editor that I've used. But it was an easy switch. The timeline does seem upside down, and I think that's because of its audio background. The first track, track number one, is at the top, and the overlay tracks are beneath it. But once you get used to that, it's not a big deal. It has great audio abilities. It does keyframing, pan and scan for those Ken Burns type documentary moves. And it's a full-fledged DVD authoring application as well. You get your edit the way you want it, save it, of course, more on that in a moment. And then click on the disc icon and it takes you to the DVD side of things. It has built-in animated menus and when you have it all set up the way you want it, it converts the video and burns the disc. Back to the saving. Video Pro X and Movie Edit Pro, their consumer level editor, have a built-in auto saved and it saved me several times. Early on I had changed a setting that I should not have changed and the system crashed when I tried to render. Fortunately, when I closed and then reopened the editor, it had saved my work, so I just saved it under another name and went on my merry way. Very little, if anything, was lost. And backup is also a breeze. It just takes everything you want, including the project and the media, and puts it in a folder anywhere you want on the computer. And you can tell it to delete the original or leave it there and delete it manually yourself later. So backup is a breeze. There's so much to like about this editor that I could go on all day. The best part, maybe for some, is the price. It's far less expensive than any of the other pro editors out there. But like I said early on, what's the best editor? The one that works the way you think. For me, Video Pro X fits the bill. But I suggest you go to the websites, download the demos, and test them out. And don't just play around in the editor. Create something and see how it works for you and then decide. Heck, that's how Video Quick Tips came about. I used Video Pro X to create the first episode, and I was hooked. Well, that's it for this time. I'm Bill Mecca. Happy editing. Jersey Devil Soap Works has taken the spirit of the New Jersey Pine Barrens, its pitch pines, cedar streams, and sugar sand roads, and combined it with all natural ingredients and fragrances to produce fine, handmade artisan soaps. 
we take our inspiration from one of the Pine Barrens' most popular legends and have tried to infuse that into every bar of luxurious soap we make. Visit JerseyDevilSoapWorks.com. We think you'll agree, it's devilishly good soap.